Hello, so the promised quick video for tonight for the aptitude safety challenge this week or just today, we're gonna do Omegle and that is O-M-E-G-L-E. -E. I know I posted about it a little earlier um, <clears throat> so that hopefully you guys could check it out before we got on today. But um, this one's gonna have to be a quick one, not meaning the video, but meaning the app that I'm gonna be doing this week, mainly because hopefully Dorian is not coming our way, um, but since I'm in Florida, it may. So we're doing some preparation stuff. So for those of you who don't know me, I'm Dr. Hess from pdmom.com. Thank you for joining. So we're gonna take a minute and talk about Omegle. Um, I've received lots of messages from parents whose kids have used this. And now they've used it various ways. Sometimes they just go on the internet and Google it just because they've heard about it. Sometimes they're brought to it by different apps. So in the past when I've talked to you about apps, I've talked about how sometimes predators will start a conversation on an app or social media platform that is considered moderately monitored and then ask them to go to different um, platforms. This is one of the ones that people will start the conversation on and then ask them to go to other platforms. And I'm gonna show you that in just a second. Um, so the crazy thing about Omegle is that it is not app-based, it is web-based. So you can just go to your browser and put it into the search bar. Its tagline is talk to strangers. So that in itself says it all. I mean, what it claims that it pairs people up to others around the world to have interesting conversations, I guess. But interestingly, it now has several additions to it where you can put in certain um, interests and then it'll pair you up by your interests or you can do it completely anonymously or you can do text versus video. So here's where it gets even scarier is that people can just clip on, click on their video and here we are. So I'm gonna show you just by starting to search for it. So I'm gonna flip the camera around so you guys can see. I'm gonna try and hold the camera with one hand and type with the other. So you'll see that I actually have my camera blocked off which if you do um, investigate these websites, you should do the same just in case. And so just put into Google Omegle right here. It's the first one that comes up, talk to strangers. Now I'm gonna come back to this once I'm done going through Omegle a little bit. But as you scroll down, you'll see that there are tons of alternatives. Um, here it says, I mean, it literally is calling itself an Omegle random chat alternative. There's just tons because it has become such a perfect platform for people who try to get you, your kids and adults too, to sign on to porn websites, pay for porn, predators, all that stuff. It's become so popular for that reason that now people are copycatting. So let's sign in to Omegle, and you'll see on the top, it literally is talk to strangers. That's what it's all about. It knows it's a terrible platform because on here, it will say, it's a great way to meet new friends. When you use Omegle, we pick someone at random to let you talk one-on-one. -on -one. To help you stay safe, they're anonymous unless you let somebody know who you are. Um, predators have been known to use Omegle, so please be careful. So here's where you get to chat or do a video. So this is the new part. This is fairly new here that you can put in an interest and then either text or video. Now it says that this particular um, portion of it is monitored, but see it gives you an option for unmonitored. So, and obviously it says 18 plus, but I could be an eight year old kid right here signing in. So let's just, just for giggles, go into unmonitored. Because it's not moder uh, moderated, you are more likely to encounter sexual behavior. <laughs> So they say that you are solely responsible for your own behavior, which is a nice thing to say if we're talking about a kid here. Um, if you're under 18 or would prefer not to use it, press cancel. Let's just, the kid is gonna go hit okay, right? This is the immediate first thing that comes up. So these are literally your only options to talk at this point. You can start a new one, a new conversation. You can get girl cams for free 
and gay cams for free. And then here's where you start to enable the chat. So you can just be sort of a voyeur and look, or you can engage with somebody about these things because clearly it's only to talk to strangers and get friends, right? When the only options are sex, gay, girl cams, and gay cams. Boggles my mind. Anyway, so that's the unmonitor section. Let's go back to the beginning and we're gonna go down. Let's just, we're gonna try the text. I obviously don't dare do the video um, because that uh, is shocking. I'm gonna go in here and this is the monitored section, mind you. So I'm gonna put in what's my interest. Nude, just something as simple as nude. Start the text. So this is somebody talking to me that likes nudes. Female, horny. That's literally the first thing that comes up. Even if I try and gauge high, the likelihood is that they will come back with a website. I want to share with you, I want to share with your of my nudes. <laughs> and then literally tells them where to go, specifically on Twitter. So that's interesting too, because just recently I sent you guys over on Twitter to go to hashtag sex on Twitter. And you can get very hardcore, immediate hardcore porn on Twitter if you just put in hashtag sex. So this particular website will be an easy way for people to know exactly where to find that hardcore porn on Twitter or any other websites for that matter. So let's just try it one more time, see what comes up. Female USA, I'll put female USA as well. Wanna see something special, another Twitter. So I'm sure if we go to these Twitter hashtags, I mean these Twitter accounts, I can bet they are porn or at least photo based that will then bring you to somewhere else that you can pay for it. New chat. Selling my pics and vids on Kick. So this one sends you to Kick. Add you a message for prices, for my price list. So it's literally just, you know, and if a kid is super curious, they may be like, let me go to this Twitter handle. Let me go to send a DM and see what I can get. Oh my gosh, I cannot. This is ridiculous. I would love for somebody to explain to me, and I know you, I'm preaching to the choir with you guys, but I'd love for you guys, somebody, to explain to me what is beneficial of a site like this, never mind the eight gazillion copycats. So, hmm. I won't even put anything in. Let's see what happens if I don't even put an interest in. Let's see. I'll say hi first. Let's see what they say. You might learn some new um, social media lingo as well. Nothing much. Let me ask, let me be the one to ask here. ASL I just put in, age, sex, location. That is what is often typed to figure out if they are your type of person. Oh, interesting. This will be my first one ever if it doesn't go into this, into this direction. I'll be super surprised. I mean, I'm happy, but super surprised. Let's go back and do new chat. You can stop. Yes. New chat. We're just going to do a couple more just so you can see how easy it is for this stuff to pop up. Oops. Hey. Let's see what they have to say. If anybody down below wants to type in a specific, oh, there's an age. Let's pick 14 female. I'm trying to hold this with one hand, so I'm sorry for the shaking. From, oh, I'll just put USA. You, 
how many questions do you think it's going to get to until it becomes something that we don't want our kids seeing? Let's see. Philippines. Hmm. Now this could be your kids typing, right? Maybe even thinking that they're talking to somebody who just wants to talk to a stranger, although I'm not 100% sure who really just wants to talk to a stranger. Hmm. Bored. So this is sad to say that I do this a good amount on all different apps to see what happens. Um, I'm going to stop this one. I'm actually kind of excited that I've gotten to two that didn't have anything substantial. But let's go back one more time. For those that might be getting late, I put in nude the first time. Let me just put in, hmm, think of something good. Good that a teen, maybe boy might put in there. Let's see. Mm -hmm. This is the boring part, I guess, huh? Just waiting for it all to come up. Let's... Uh, mail, I'll put 21. Because anybody can say... Oh, there it goes, before I even had to say that. That's how quick every single one of these go. It's absolutely mind boggling. And so much of this on here, not only on this one, I have to keep going back out to get to this front page, but all of these also have video. See the video here? We'll go down to the makeshift ones, the alternatives, this one, this is another alternative that actually says to me, because I've denied access to my devices, I can't use it. So you're not even allowed to use it unless you put your video on, which I again have blocked like that. Um, this just, it boggles my mind that this stuff is even able to be out there. Because even if you're an adult, like obviously there's a lot of people who tell me, well, you know, kids shouldn't be on this. We don't, kids don't really need this kind of stuff, but why do adults need to talk to random strangers? I mean, all of these websites are ways to talk with random strangers. Omegle just happens to be the first that really, not maybe not the first, enjoy instant random video chats. What do you want to bet's gonna come up if you start that? I mean, it's, it's insane stuff, and I would put that on there, if I didn't think that there was a chance of me getting in trouble for having a certain type of material on my page. That's how bad this stuff is. It's absolutely insane. And I don't understand why it's okay. One last one, and then I'm gonna turn it around and I'm gonna to talk to you. Because this stuff makes me angry. Oh, it didn't even give me a second to say anything. 19 year old female selling pics and vids on kick. Add me on Kick, and it gives the handle. So Kick and Twitter are big on this tonight. I'm gonna turn around now. Hopefully I don't lose you guys when I try to turn you around. Okay, so these websites are horrendous for kids, and they're going onto them because it's a quick and easy way for them to hear about where they can see porn and nude photos. So if you have a curious kid that's on the internet and doesn't know where to look, they can easily, and believe me when I say that the kids know this, they can easily go on websites like these. You saw all how quick the messages came up with handles on certain things, and they go to that other platform, pop it up, and I mean, right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to this video after I finish it. I'm gonna go to the handles of the ones that popped up so I can see what they are. I'll take screenshots 
obviously blurring out most of the stuff to show that they really are actually linked and then report them obviously. But um, if your kids aren't being monitored on the internet, then they're gonna see this stuff amongst tons of other stuff. So I know I talk a lot about monitoring on smartphones, but that's not the only stuff you need to be monitoring. You need to monitor your home computers as well because they can get to stuff that isn't in apps. It's so easily, easily accept, acceptable. It's not acceptable, easily <laughs> accessible. Um, and then, I mean, just another story, the most recent story I just posted was just a perfect example. Snapchat and like, this guy, 32 year old guy, was on Snapchat and like. Like is one of the apps that I did two weeks ago, I believe it was, horrible app. And he was trying to get a 10 year old to send him nude videos and to meet him for sexual things. I mean, it's insane. They found videos, naked videos of him doing sexual, they just put sexual things in the media story. They found those being sent to her. She's 10. She got videos of a man doing inappropriate sexual things to her box on both of these apps. That is insane. They don't, kids, and, and <laughs> I get a, a little bit of slack from both sides, both um, people who kind of say, well, parents need to be doing their monitoring, and parents say kids don't need phones, and all this back and forth. The, the truth is, kids of this age, 10 years old, even up to middle school, don't need smartphones. There are lots of other options, tons of other options, that don't give them the unfettered access to internet or apps. So the phone thing shouldn't even be an argument because there's too many other options out there which we can, dis we can discuss at another time. With respect to the internet, there are lots. I see somebody has asked me, Christine is asking me, what is a good laptop monitor? So there are lots of different things. And as I've said a thousand times over, none of them do everything. So a lot of times, a lot of families feel that multiple different monitoring systems um, or applications are what they need to keep their kids safe. So I know I talk a lot about Bark and it's because I think Bark is fabulous. I use it on our phones, computers in our house. Um, my daughter doesn't have a phone, but um, on like the iPad that we have in the house, but even Bark doesn't do everything. So Bark can monitor laptops as well and computers. But um, once I'm sort of towards the end of this aptitude safety challenge, I'm gonna start going into monitoring systems and which ones do what and when you might need multiple ones because you need all the above. You need kids to not have smartphones when they're not the kind of the age that they can handle the stuff that they might come across. You need to not have unmonitored access to the internet or to social media apps and you need to start talking to your kids. So all those things have to happen. None of them are okay by themselves and not even all of them together aren't going, you're not gonna avoid all safety issues or all possible scenarios, but you have the best chance. And why not do what you need to do to get the best chance of having your kid not come across stuff like this or have your kid not be sent the nude videos of a guy masturbating. I mean, this is not stuff you want your 10 year old kid to see, right? or your kid at all to see. So we need to start taking some responsibility as parents and understanding that just because your kid is angry with you for not giving them a smartphone and all their friends have a smartphone, that doesn't mean they have to have a smartphone. You're the parent. Um, it also means that you need to start doing some edu educating yourself and not, as I'm educating you as well, but educating yourself about all the monitoring systems that are out there, about all the apps that are dangerous and which monitoring systems will work for your particular family. And you need to start talking to your kids. And I talk a lot about how to do that, but if you have specific questions, please, please ask. Go into the new group that I just started, or I didn't just start it. It's been fairly new, but it's called It Takes a Village to Keep Kids Safe. I did a recent post on it. Go into that group and start asking your questions. Because yes, I'm in there and I'm answering questions, but so are tons of other parents. They're answering questions and asking questions about everything related to internet safety, social media, home safety, um, toxins, playground safety, school safety, anything related to child safety. 
you want to ask and start start the conversation with other parents about it, go into that group and start the conversation. We have so much we can teach each other. I mean, I learn just as much from you guys when you send me stuff as I can teach you. I mean, we learn from each other. So go in there, do it, get your kids off the internet unless it's mired. Um, start the conversation in there, get a good night's sleep. I'm exhausted, again, hurricane prep. So for those of you that are in line of Dorian, although it's looking good, it's sort of hopefully scooting off to the east, but those of you that are in or around Dorian's vicinity, please be safe, have a good night, share, like, comment, and talk to other parents. Sweet dreams, bye.